So for today, we're going to be looking at the Crota set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the Crota armor. It's right here and the Shader video, both right here. So essentially, we're going to be taking the individual pieces from the Crota armor for the Hunters and then making individual sets from those pieces. So if this is your first video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Titans, Warlocks, you guys are going to be getting your videos. Uh, Titans, the day after this video goes up and then the day after that for the Warlocks. So just to let you guys know i also have shorts just in case you don't want to hear my voice you can just see the armor right there in my short versions and they will be coming out probably two hours or actually probably like four to six hours after this video so if you just want to see those i do have those up as well so, so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because i do think my content is worth it just because of the sheer amount that i actually post but other than that i appreciate y'all coming up just to watch this video it really does help me and other than that let's uh, just get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the helmet and i think this one is pretty cool so for the helmet obviously we're using the crota helmet for the arms like can grips for the boots leering mer the leading marrow ornament for the omni oculus and then the megalomorph strides with the like can cloak so this one was more of a spider-esque feel i've done this set of learn i've done an inspired set like this in the past where it's basically just kind of like a hairy spider a tarantula so to speak i think i did it for the megalomorph uh set for the hunters i'll have it up right now but i ended up using uh, a different helmet i think i actually ended up using the spider helmet and then the different boots for sure but i like this one a lot more just because well to be fair i feel like the best thing would be to switch out the boots for something else that being said this is literally a spider uh, set so the megalomorph has to be in here somewhere but i would probably switch out the helmet for the megalomorph set just because that is a spider helmet that being said this is a crota video so i would probably switch out the boots honestly for something that has a little bit of a glow and then switch out the glow or the, the shader for a, a glow that has a green or a shader that has a green green glow i should say um but other than that i actually think this looks really really cool i'm going for a spider look obviously for the shader in queen's colors is where we're going i actually love this shader it's just that i rarely ever use it because i rarely ever find a set that actually looks really cool with it and honestly i would actually tell you to switch out the arms uh the lichen grips i love them but they're too thin when you compare them to the boots this isn't the best one but it's definitely not the worst one there is a worst one here that is actually right after this one let's actually go to it right now so here is the other helmet look and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm not the biggest fan of it the only reason i have it there is because a i wanted to use the boots and honestly i don't hate it as much as you might think i actually think it looks pretty cool the only things i would really switch out would be the dreaming cast shader unless i'm using a specific like exotic or um, armor piece that has a glow because then dreaming cast will actually make sense because dreaming cast has a green glow um honestly i would probably switch out the chest piece for something that has a glow in there so that way it could be a little bit more green or switch out the moth keepers uh just because the exotic i don't think is a good fit for this that being said the only reason i have it there is because the helmet and the boots have and the the chest piece to a certain extent have like that uh that bug look and obviously moth keeper wraps like they're moth i don't remember if moths are bugs but to a majority of people who are not like well actually moth anything small like that is going to be a bug so yeah i would probably switch i, I don't know man because my, my gut's telling me switch out the cloak so that way it has like some sort of glow maybe one of the one of the cloaks from guardian games maybe would be really good but like it's one of those things where i like where my head's going i just wonder where i would go after this because i definitely would want to keep the boots the chest piece and the helmet i think those three are really really cool and the arms and the cloak are the only ones where i'm like i could definitely switch these out for something else if i really wanted to but i also really like the arms because they're they're asymmetrical like the boots so it kind of like evens it out for me so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set, we're going to be using the arms and the cloak with the vest of the Taken King. So this one's interesting because I really wanted to combine the vest of the Taken King with this cloak. And if you guys know anything about the Taken King set, if you guys haven't seen my review of it, I'll have it up right now. Um, I absolutely hate the Taken King set, not because it looks terrible. I actually think it looks amazing. 
It's just the fact that I don't think the glow has to be over the armor, which really limits on which shaders you can use with it, which is why we're using Tangled Bronze. Tangled Bronze really just turns off almost everything. There is a glow in there, but it's it usually turns off the what I would call the first glow and then the secondary glow. It does keep it on. As you guys can see from from the acolytes ambition ornament for the wormhouse crown you guys will see that there is a slight glow in there but i also wanted to put a little bit more glow in there which is why we're using the crota arms and the cloak i think both of these look really really cool and again this is just a combination of a there is a little green in that glow on the helmet it's very very noticeable but i can still see it and i'm also turning off the glow for the vest of the taken king so that way i can combine the cloth on the taken king specifically on the like the left side of the chest with the cloak so there's just a lot of moving parts to this one which is very very annoying i would much rather if bungie just gave us the option to just just let us turn it off let us turn off the glow on whichever piece we wanted because then i think the taken king set would be the best hive set in the game but unfortunately because of the way it works i don't think it's the best set in the game when you when you think about taking king or when you take it when you think about hive specifically just because of the sh the like glow limitation but overall i like this set it looks pretty cool i will say some people might not like the fact that i'm using the apilos Apil following strides um a because they're from a seasonal so they're from a season pass that's not available in the game anymore which is valid but it's also symmetrical compared to the arms, which are not symmetrical. So if I were to change anything, it'd be the boots and try to find a piece that's asymmetrical as well. I think the Oryx set would actually be pretty good with this. That being said, it doesn't have a lot of bone color or a lot of bone pieces to it. But the arms also don't have that much in it either. So it would actually equalize it a lot. And then last but not least, this was introduced. At least this look, I've made this before for the hinterland stuff for the hunters. I'll have it up right now. This is one of my more favorite sets just because it looks really, really cool and something that I probably usually will never do um, just because I don't like really bright colors. Call me an edgelord, whatever you want. It's more of a, I don't think it looks right for a guardian to have really bright colors. Not of, not of, it's not like a, oh, like you just don't look good. It's more of a like a guardian wouldn't have bright colors unless they're taking their time to clean them clean it all the time because a guardian would always be like in the muck or like getting dirty you know type that type of thing so like for me when i see like really bright colors i'm like that's cool i just don't think like realistically a garden would be that bright unless it's like i don't know like i could definitely see like some guardians being like uh content creators or like that type of uh line of work where they go out in the world and like fake saving saving the day so that way they can show it off to their content like viewers and that would definitely be a funny like side thing for bungie to have like not like like a little funny storyline to see like or man that's so crazy because it just reminds me of final fantasy 14 where there's characters like that not in this not in the exact same sense but like like the hildebrand missions and shit like not saying it's the same like it's an exact one-to-one -one, but it's funny because like you have characters like Hildebrand and you have characters like just in general, like goofy characters like that, that are in the game and actually exist. And then we have Destiny 2 where it's like I can name like five characters off the top of my head that like exist. And then that's really it. So it's I don't know. Weird tangent aside, I really like this set. It's one of my more favorite sets that I've made just because it uses the Veil types mask really, really well. Um, you just have that mask. I know some people have done some super dope scorpion sets. I just really like it because it. It gives me that same like hood like our helmetless vibe that the hunters have but it gives it even more of a like a like a scary look because it just it's just a mask and nothing on the eyes uh for the arms we're going to be using the claws of ahamkara i think that's what they're called or sealed ahamkara grasp i don't remember for the chest piece relentless harness is what we're going to be using stride to the taken king and then hinterlands cloak for the shadering this is where it gets really cool atlantis wash for everything but the helmet because Atlantis Wash actually does not turn off the glow for Strides of the Taken King. You can definitely see it in the thighs, but it turns it off enough where it doesn't bother, bother me. And then Rivalry Stoic, so that way I can get that really juicy black 
on the underneath armor and then for the mask it's actually gonna be solid white so it's actually really really good again this is one of my more favorite sets that i've made just because it looks terrifying my only gripe with it is this is using an exotic that realistically people will not use um which is valid because it's nerfed it's a nerfed version that would then what we had in destiny one and i'm not even talking about the whole like reloading takes a takes a while now after charge it's more of a this also had that on top of us having an extra melee charge so that is pretty much it let me know what you guys think i definitely like some of these sets more like i definitely like the last one the last one is probably my favorite just because it looks amazing uh, the first one is pretty cool the second one has potential to be really really cool and then the third one honestly i would probably never use that set i actually if i switched out the apilos following for the oryx one i might use it just because i feel like that would look really wild but i definitely would have to switch out the vest of the taken king just because i i would want a better shader or just have a shader that turns off the glow but then it comes to the problem of the cloth on that chest piece like if you turn off the glow on the chest piece then that the cloth actually might have a glow that is horrible to take so it's also just a big problem there so let me know what you guys think hunters did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below titans you guys are up next and honestly i kind of excited so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all remember we have a sh i have a short version of this video which will be coming out in either four or six hours i don't remember so be looking out for that if you just want to look at how that looks without me talking so appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later